This is a breaking news alert. Special counsel Jack Smith has filed directly with the United States Supreme Court a request that they hear on an expedited basis the denial of Donald Trump's motion to dismiss the Washington, D.C. federal criminal indictment on the grounds of absolute presidential immunity. The federal judge overseeing the D.C. criminal case in federal court for Trump's efforts to overthrow the results of the 2020 election. Trump was indicted back in August for that. Judge Tanya Chutkin, she recently denied Donald Trump's motion to dismiss the indictment on absolute presidential immunity grounds. Rounds. Donald Trump then filed a notice of appeal and a concurrent motion to stay all of the district court proceedings pending his appeal before the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals. Special Counsel Jack Smith over the weekend filed an opposition to that motion to stay. And now Special Counsel Jack Smith, seeing that Donald Trump is going to do everything in his power to try to delay the March 4th, 2024 trial date, Jack Smith it's going directly to the United States Supreme Court, and he cites authority in a case USA v. Nixon as grounds for circumventing even the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals going right to the Supreme Court to address the fundamental issue of absolute presidential immunity for a uh, president or former president in the context of criminal cases. The brief is right here. It is a petition for a writ of certiorari, which is a request for the Supreme Court to hear oral argument on an expedited basis. Special Counsel Jack Smith in this 81, 82 page brief also points out that the government, the special counsel's office, is also going to be concurrently at the same time as this filing just took place before the Supreme Court, they will be filing a motion to expedite proceedings in the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals, which currently has jurisdiction over the appeal on Donald Trump's appeal of the denial of his absolute presidential immunity defense. Now, one of the cases cited about why there should be immediate review of this uh, case by the United States Supreme Court on this issue, again, expediting it even before the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals case hears it, is a case that involves uh, Richard Nixon, where a similar uh, decision was reached. Nixon versus Fitzgerald. I said Nixon versus USA. Um, Nixon versus Fitzgerald was the case I was referring to. It says here in Special Counsel Jack Smith's brief, nothing could be more vital to our democracy than that a president who abuses the electoral system to remain in office is held accountable for criminal conduct. Yet, Respondent Donald Trump has asserted that the Constitution accords him absolute immunity from prosecution. The Constitution's text, structure, and history lend no support to that novel claim. This court, referring to the United States Supreme Court, has accorded civil immunity for a president's actions within the outer perimeter of his official responsibilities. See Nixon v. Fitzgerald, and the executive branch has long held the view that a sitting president cannot be indicted while in office. But those principles cannot be extended to provide the absolute shield from criminal liability that respondent a former president asserts. Neither the separation of powers nor respondent's acquittal and impeachment proceedings lifts him above the reach of federal criminal law. Like other citizens, he is accountable for criminal conduct. And then there's a section in this brief, this case warrants this court's immediate review goes on to say, this case justifies the standards for certiorari before judgment, meaning like an expedited review before even the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals rules right up to the United States Supreme Court. The court has jurisdiction to review cases in the courts of appeals by writ of certiorari before or after rendition of judgment or decree. An application for a writ of certiorari to review a case before judgment has been rendered in the court of appeals may be any time um, may be made any time before judgment when quote the cases of such imperative public importance 
as to justify deviation from normal appellate practice and to require immediate determination in this court. This case involves a paradigmatic issue of imperative public importance, the amenability to criminal prosecution of a former president of the United States for conduct undertaken during his presidency. It requires no extended discussion to confirm that this case involving charges that respondents sought to thwart the peaceful transfer of power through violations of federal criminal law is at the apex of of public importance. The charges implicate a central tenet of our democracy, and the charges allege that Donald Trump conspired to transgress the law in manifold ways by intentionally using fraudulent means to obstruct the presidential electoral process, by obstructing constitutionally prescribed processes in Congress for counting electoral votes, and by seeking to deprive millions of voters of their electoral choice of president. For me, and I know many families out there, it's more important than ever to make sure that you're saving money and cutting back on your expenses. For example, I used to spend over $100 a month on streaming services. Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Prime, you name it. But since I started using ExpressVPN, I've been able to cut back and save so much every month. Let me explain. See, all these streaming services like Netflix actually have thousands of more shows than you think. You just don't see them all because they give you different shows depending on your country. So what you see on Netflix here is completely different to what someone in Italy or South Korea sees. But using the ExpressVPN app, I can change my online location. ExpressVPN has over 90 countries to choose from. So every time I run out of stuff to watch, I just switch over to another country to unlock new shows. Right now, I'm watching Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. It's not on Netflix here, but with ExpressVPN, I just tap one button to change my country to Italy, refresh the page, and it shows up. I don't need to pay extra for Apple TV or Prime just to watch it. And on top of that, I can even use ExpressVPN to get discounts. Some services cost less in other countries. For example, if you buy Netflix from Argentina, it costs a fraction of the price. At less than $7 a month, ExpressVPN pays for itself and so much more. It's a no-brainer. So if you want to get way more shows and save money while you're at it, go to expressvpn.com slash Midas Touch. Don't forget to use my link in the description below and you could get three extra months free. That's expressvpn.com slash Midas Touch expressvpn.com slash Midas Touch to learn more. Thank you. And it goes on to cite the authority, United States v. Nixon, that precedent supports expeditious action. When the government sought certiorari before judgment in U.S. v. Nixon, a case presenting similarly consequential issues of presidential privilege, the United States Supreme Court granted the petition, resolved the constitutional questions, in that case expeditiously, so trial could begin as scheduled there. The district court overseeing one of the Watergate cases had scheduled trial to begin September 9th, 1974. On May 24th, 1974, the prosecutor sought certiorari before judgment. All that certiorari stuff means is directly to the Supreme Court or requesting the Supreme Court hear oral argument. Um, the special prosecutor sought certiorari before judgment following the district court's denial of Nixon's motion to quash a subpoena seeking Oval Office recordings. The, the court granted cert to hear the case, and the decision was issued 16 days later, and then trial began in fall of 1974. Special Counsel Jack Smith, as I noted earlier, says, in addition to this move before the United States Supreme Court, the government will also be filing a brief with the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals to expedite the proceedings there. 
But just like in U.S. versus Nixon, this case right here, U.S. versus Trump, should be heard on an expedited basis by the United States Supreme Court, and that March 4th, 2024 trial date should remain. Special Counsel Jack Smith points out throughout the brief, the holding of Judge Tanya Chutkin, the D.C. judge who recently denied Donald Trump's request for absolute presidential immunity and to dismiss the indictment on that basis. She rejected that. That's what caused Donald Trump to appeal and file the motion for stay. And what special counsel Jack Smith points out is that the only clause in the Constitution, this is what Judge Chutkin found as well, that Donald Trump points to for this idea of absolute presidential immunity in the context of criminal cases is the impeachment judgment clause. But the impeachment judgment clause undermines the claim, not supports the claim of absolute presidential immunity. The impeachment judgment clause provides judgment in cases of impeachment shall not extend further than to the removal from office and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office of honor, trust, or profit under the United States. But the party convicted shall nevertheless be liable and subject to indictment, trial, judgment, and punishment according to the law. As special counsel Jack Smith points out, and as Judge Chutkin says, this is a clear provision on the impeachment judgment clause. It says, nevertheless, regardless of what takes place in the impeachment proceeding, an individual can be subject to trial, judgment, and punishment according to the law. It's separate. It's um, it's another route that can be taken as well. Special counsel Jack Smith points out how federal judge Tanya Chutkin analyzed the text and the structure and the historical precedent it, um, that exists um, uh, behind the United States Constitution about why it would make no sense that our founders who were responding to despotic kings would basically say that they're trying to have presidents assume the same powers and have absolute immunity for criminal conduct. That clearly can't be the case. And Judge Tanya Chutkin goes through all of that, all of that in her analysis, and Jack Smith repeats it here in this significant filing. So, folks, a historical filing, actually 81 pages in length, directly to the Supreme Court. Jack Smith asking the Supreme Court, we want you, Supreme Court, to hear this now. This is an issue that is imperative. This is an issue of massive constitutional uh, import, The probably the most important case ever before our democracy. That's why you should hear it now on an expedited basis. But in any event, Special Counsel Jack Smith says, we're going to seek an expedited process before the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals for the same reasons. Folks, big news here. We will keep you posted as we learn more on the Midas Touch Network. Make sure you keep stay subscribed to our network so you can keep up with all of the updates. Hit subscribe now. It's free. And check us out at patreon.com slash Midas Touch. And have a great day. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram at Midas Touch to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.